to start the day, huh? How did you not see Tom there hiding in the trees? John, come and take your picture. I just check that and make sure I've done it all right. Thank you, Did you take a couple? I just pressed it once. You better be a good one, you. See, this is the people you meet in you know, it's like the community with it, it's like you get abuse. I was in Dumbarton gym, you know, I noticed this in Jim Barton. Jim Barton. They've got a hot tub in Jim Barton. Speaks in permanent, mate. You should call it that, Jim Barton. No, no, no. Listen, I need to do this for my pal. You look like that, I'm so happy to see you have been my glory. Right, there you go. Right, well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. <laughs> How was that? That was warm. I'm a new man. See how he's doing it in the mornings now, the ice tub. So much different now and there. It's just easy, which is nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, last one. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, we Don't need too much, just rice crispy, maybe head it after and get it away. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We are all good. We are all good. These guys want it. Yes, come on in. Great to be. Oh, well done. Congratulations, Annie. <laughs> Take a man like that down. It's the competition, he's won the, the, the speed of the devil. There he is. Yeah. He's up here. I was being too nice, I was trying to be a, a twat to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but yeah, when, when you're going up someone against someone like Mitchell, it's you've just got to do what you can do. I have beaten before at World's Strongest Man, which was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was his first year at World's Strongest Man, so. <laughs> I think mean, you just come from Marmoth and Brian straight into the world, so um, but I'm still holding up. You've been beaten by, by quite a bit. Yeah, it was ma smashed and it was so easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be seen as anything for 70. Thank you very much. Good luck. So we had a family holiday, a week's family holiday in Turkey and day one of my holiday I got the phone call for Giants Live asking me, or the message for Giants asking me to be a part of the show which uh, certainly changed the holiday a little bit. <laughs> I had to put the beers down and uh, the kebabs away, well some of the kebabs away and uh, you know start getting my thinking cap on about how I'm going to try and tackle Luke and the rest of the monsters here. So I'm feeling like I'm just below the rev limit. Like I'm, I'm just teetering, I'm ready to go full gas. I know the place is pretty much a sellout, I think there's only 100 seats left. And already I can feel the energy, feel the, the, the buzz and kind of makes the hairs in the back of your neck stand up. So looking around here, yeah, just gonna try and take it on. I can't wait to walk out with that Scotland flag. Oh, 
20 minutes to walk out, thank you. Yeah, yeah, all good. Do you remember that? They're all here now. <laughs> I was driving here and my car come up. Drive train error and then it was like and I was like uh max be 50 miles an hour so I was like all the way here. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So we've got the dumbbell ladder on first. This is an 80 kilo, 90 kilo, 100, 110, 120 kilo dumbbell. This is going to be a really good event for Luke. Um, and we've been working on his dumbbell and had some technical adjustments. So I'm really hoping that uh, he's able to put it all together and complete the run. The goal is to complete the run. My biggest concern for this one is actually the first dumbbell to make sure that he doesn't put too much power into it and controls it because last time he did this ladder, he put a bit too much force into it and it came back down into rack without the, the down command. So he needs to kind of chill his way into it and increase his leg drive as the dumbbells get heavier and it should go real well. Has a little word there with Mike. Oh, what's the problem, mate? Right, so first event over with. Luke, uh, you know, you had to get five dumbbells because there's a lot of good dumbbell pressures in this event. So that last last, last dumbbell was uh, very, very important for him. So yeah, good start for Luke and uh, on to the next one. Let's go. So event two is 150 kilo farmer's walk into a 400 kilo um, yoke walk. Obviously Luke just did amazing on that uh, first event, getting all five dumbbells, which was a PB. Warm-up's just going down, um, he's looking good. So yeah, great place and hopefully can continue the momentum on. Should be a good event this. It's not crazy heavy. It's gonna be about foot speed and that transition. Um, so yeah, I think you'll be able to put in a good run on this.
He manages to raise his level based off of people supporting him. He needs so much. Right, so that was another good event for Luke. He's looking uh, very fit, um, came third place in this event. So, you know, currently I think he's uh, second overall. So it's uh, what a great start to the show. So yeah, um, we just got three events to go. Deadlift, Hercules, Holding Stones. I think it's in that order. So uh, yeah, let's damage limitation on deadlift. I don't think this is a, a strong deadlift field as uh, it usually is. So we should finish mid pattern deadlift and then uh, like, keep the ball rolling. Uh, boom. Hey, bro. So event three is the 360 kilo axle deadlift for reps. Luke's placing so far. I'm, I'm really buzzed with Luke's shape at the minute. I'm really, really happy. He looks so fit and strong everywhere and he's doing the events and then recovering really fast, which is what we wanted uh, building into road. Uh, he just told me his PB on this setup is three. So if we can get three or four, I'll be absolutely buzzed. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple deadlift for reps. I'm sure he'll send it. He's in amazing form and we've worked a lot on his posterior chain strength. Uh, so hopefully the yoke farmers haven't taken too much out of him and he can get three or four reps. Right, so. Guys, Tom Saltman here. So we just did the deadlifts. <laughs> so uh, Luke's joint third after that event. Three reps is good. Another rep would have got him half of a point. So yeah, all to play for in a Hercules. It's going to be a tough one in a Hercules. He just has to beat the two that are in third place and then uh, go into the stones and have a party. Stay spicy. No, I just had chips and cheese. Now you've been shouting for your brother. Uh. Uh, Delif went real well, three reps. Would have liked to have got four because that would have been a PB. But we've been training for road, which is raw barbell. So he just kind of rocked up, pulled on an axle in a suit. So I uh, can't complain with equal PB. Perk hold. Not sure this one's going to go. Um, I have, I don't remember Luke last time he did this. I can't remember. And we've not, we've been training in grip, but Rogue's not super grip heavy, so we haven't been going wild on it. Just been kind of ticking over. Uh, but you know, he's good at performing in the moment, isn't he? so hopefully he'll pull out a good time. And then final event, Stones is a saltman, so he's gonna obviously pull out a big send to finish the comp. So Herc hold, the goal here really is um, make sure we get a good time on the board, damage limitation, and go into Stones in a good place to put in the final performance. Hi, I came to the show with the intention of um, beating personal records, and um. I said, no, I don't really know where my limits are, you know? 
So I'm trying to find where I kind of like, you know, could work from. So it's all a win from now. It's, it's amazing. I'm privileged, like I said. It's a big privilege being among the big boys. Luke, uh, Mitchell. It's, it's crazy, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> of course, the farmers that cost the deadlift, even though the world traps are still reluctant to two inch back. Come on, boy. It's a good time, I'm not sure you'll be happy with that, but it's a decent time to fight. Right, so Hurtley's hold. Unfortunately, Luke didn't get a, you know, the result he wanted. 45 seconds, which put him right down the table, so I think he's sixth overall. Eight points behind the podium, so I don't think he's going to get podium. But hey, let's get him top five at least. That'll be a, a good result. Never know what can happen on stones. You've seen it with me. You've seen it with a lot of athletes. But uh, yeah, let's keep pushing over this line. Bang. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It was just a bit of a. It's one of those things. There's a couple, load of athletes grouped together real close. So a couple of extra seconds there. There, you know, it would it would have really jumped up the points. But I'm super happy because the thing that you need to understand about strength training is the thing that responds the most to a deload and being fully fresh is your grip. Grip's a real good indicator of how fresh your nervous system is. Um, and we didn't deload into this show. Luke trained Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He trained heavy deads as well on Tuesday. So he's under a lot of fatigue. He pulled equal PB deadlift. And then that wasn't a bad time on Hurt Cole. It just, if it had deloaded and been super fresh, maybe they got an extra 10 seconds or so, which could have changed the points a lot. But it is what it is. We're playing the game for Rogue, not for uh, not for today. So final event, uh, Atlas Stone Series up to 200 kilos. Um, we have been training the Stones Taculous for Rogue, so it should be in real good nick. Herc's Hall is a bit of a bullshit event, in my opinion. So it's one of them where they were kicking the teeth for the performance overall, but is what it is, he's still in phenomenal shape and Rogue's the end goal, so we'll send out a, a good final stone run. Just go up round the middle of my spine. That'll do. Yeah, that's fine now. Oh, I'm feeling it. That's all the power you need. <laughs> Thank you, big man. I think he's had a really good day. I think he expected a better position, like, going into stones, but... Like, he is just still coming back from injury, so this is his second competition back since World's Strongest Man, and still recovering, still getting better, so I would take this as like a really good competition that he's still in one piece, which is great. <laughs> yeah, he should be proud of himself. He gives himself a hard time a lot of the time. Um, I think he says it himself, like he doubts himself a lot. He's gone through a lot. Having a baby isn't easy. <laughs> as much as uh, people say it is, it's not. And. Um, yeah, you're learning about yourself all the time, so I'm really proud of him and he's the best daddy, so that's what you should take away from this. <laughs> Finished off brilliant. I was really buzzed with Luke's uh, stone run because I can tell you he was, he was a bit pissed off after that Hercules hold. Because one of them, sometimes when those old athletes grouped together, you can come out on the good end of it at the top or you can come out at the bottom. Unfortunately, he came out at the bottom, so he dropped a lot of points. But I'm really happy with that. that that's a PB, the fastest stone run he's ever done. So, like, like I say, it just proves the shape he's in. Not bad, guys. Not bad. So good, man. Enjoyed everything apart from the Hercules hold. Um, <laughs> Feeling excited, so that was really good. I performed really well. Really proud of that performance. 
Some PBs hit. Uh, the dumbbell run, that's the first time I've done that. Farmers and Deoke smashed that, it was so good. Eco PB on the deadlift axle. Hercules, we won't talk about that. Um, stone run PB on the stones. Not bad, not bad. So I did all I could do today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next stop is the Rogue Invitational, which I'm buzzing about, but huge shout out to Giants Live for taking up to Glasgow. I think the Glasgow crowd, the Scottish crowd, were absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for all the support. Yeah, on to the next one we go. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. I love you.